What makes the cooling important is that the laser gains are reduced at high temperature. So when you have the laser in operation, you want to remove the heat so to keep the laser operating at a normal condition. Also, its a structure will be distorted if the heat is too high. If something happens when the laser is in operation and it loses cooling, there is a significant distortion of the structure. Laser is a precision optical instrument, so when you have a distortion, the laser will not function well. Here at Axis Laser, we offer three different configurations of cooling. One is the free air cooling. This one relies on free convection and radiation to dissipate the heat. This one has the advantage of being portable, simple, no frills, and uh, it's easy to operate. Next is the fan-cooled, forced air-cooled. As you can see, with the fan blowing, it more effectively removes the heat from the laser body and keeping the laser at a more constant temperature. This one is used in a lot of the spectroscopy analysis or interferometry where people need that kind of a stability. And the next one is the water cooling method. And water cooled lasers are even more stable than the fan cooled one because it relies on an external chiller to regulate its body temperature. Therefore, it can be kept at a better temperature stability. So for people who really need the highest level of uh, stability in power wavelengths or frequency, we recommend using this type of configuration. If you happen to buy a base model laser uh, with the free air cooling and it's uh, not satisfactory in your application, we can always retrofit the laser into a fan cooled or a water cooled, really depending on your application. <music>